London City, home to some of the most talented in the world. It's only right that we bring you the stories of the very best that we know. Hi, I'm Amara Booth and I'm nine years old. Meet Amara Booth, nine years old, from South East London. Amara's an aspiring footballer. Future lioness, they say. To get better insight about her and her journey, we spent a whole day with her and her father. And my name's Amari Booth, father of Amara. In the booth. This is talented. Amara started playing football at AFC Lucian. Two years ago, she was under eight. It was my friend's team, um, Taps and Adam. Adam's someone that I know in the area, he works at a local team. He had a nephew, they were building a team. So it was five aside. I remember just putting her into it and um, people come running up to me like, did you just see what that girl did? My name is Robert Fodger. Uh, I'm the under 10 coach this season of Lambeth Tigers. Adam had some contacts with um, Arsenal and Crystal Palace at the time, Boys Academy, and um, she would play in friendlies against them. So I think we first played Arsenal Development, and um, she had a really good showing for herself. And that was the, the boys' level. At the time, no one knew how to scout a girl or get a girl into that environment. So they were like, look, she's competing with the boys in the development center. So um, they lost 2-1, I think that game was, and she, she did really well. Then we played against Crystal Palace Academy and um, <laughs> we lost 21-0. Yeah, 21-0. Yeah. Yeah. Close family friend who runs Lambeth Tigers was coaching there at the time, David Marriott called me instantly like, and said, bring her down to um, Lambeth Tigers, which obviously is it's an honor. That's probably the best grassroots team for that age group. I first saw her when she came into a, a camp, a Lambeth Tigers holiday camp. And as soon as I saw her play, I'm like, mm, no, she's got real talent. Obviously she's a young lady in, in a boys environment. So boys don't want to pass to her. So she's, Mara's quite quiet and she's had to find her voice. So on the pitch, you hear her shouting and demanding the ball. So that's helped her mentally. If they can play with boys, they are so equipped to go into the girls game, they have an advantage because they're competing with maybe the speed, the power and the aggression that the boys have. And so if they can compete with that and earn the boys respect, then they're, they're normally really, really good players. Her dealing with the boys that just want to take her after she does a step over and puts that ball through their legs or <laughs> skills them up. But she handles them um, physically really well. Great defending, young lady. Great defending. Her physicality is um, probably a bit more advanced than the girls at this at this present moment. The main thing at this point is that we're keeping her playing with elite boys. Everyone's saying we've never seen nothing like it. She's amazing. She's going to play for England one day. The boys she's playing with are, are boys that are aspiring to get into academy. So when they come to the Land of Tigers, they have, we look at them and say, have, they may have the potential to go to get to the next level. Now she's come in and earned a place on her on merit. So she is uh, one of the most skillful girls I've seen at her age because years ago I was seeing Lauren James, Lauren Hemp. She's one of the most talented girls I've seen. How do you develop someone? And obviously there's four corners in most things, like the physical, the mental side, the social, and just, just how much they're enjoying the journey as well. Stop, stop, shape to play out. What do you do with the space? Look at, look at you, four of you, what's the shape? Jordan, well, on what side of the pitch? What should you do to the side? Yes, yes. make it work. Your miles, even wider. Play. Now you can go and press it. Good. Good. Come back, come back. Yeah, well done, lovely. What was most impressive about Amara was her mentality. I wanted to find out from her how she felt about playing against boys. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Some of them are rough, some of them are not really. I just like, I just act like them, so I would just barge them out of the way or something. 
How do you maintain staying at the front of the pack? And I think that would be the difference between whether someone could get to that next level or not. The boys game there, everyone's doing extra sessions, maybe small sessions, 1v1s, they're always trying to get better. Once the girls maybe buy into that as a culture, we're going to see the level of girls go up astronomically. At nine years old, Amara's skill set is like nothing I've seen before. What type of goals do you set when you're a talented nine-year-old? Not just getting over the line and playing at a professional level, but also being good enough to be representative of whatever country she chooses, whether that be England or Jamaica. <laughs> so she's been walking in multiple academies all over England. She even got to play for our team. We, we support Manchester United. Well, I do anyway. She, she acts like she supports Man City sometimes. I like playing striker because I get lots of goals. I like playing midfield because I sometimes like get the ball more and pop it around. Mm. What a pass. I like Jack Grealish because of his calves. Um, I like Haaland because he scores lots of goals. I like Mbappe, he's got lots of skills. And I like Lema because he's got lots of skills. With so many hours of the week dedicated to Amara's journey, good boy, good boy, what up? I was intrigued to hear her views on the importance of her dad being there. It's really important, but I really love it as well because like, sometimes after football, he would tell me some of the stuff that I need to practice and some of the stuff I don't really. He tells me that I have to go in there, say hi to all the coaches. I need to be sharp and speak up more. Mara clearly loves the game, which leads to the last question. Which team does she support? Man City. Oh, what, do you, what do you like about Man City? <laughs> <laughs> Rah. 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 <laughs> um, they win a lot and they work as a team. Right, you got money, let me hold it. No. <laughs> the longer the day goes on, the clearer it is to see. Amari and Amara have a special father-daughter relationship. And that positive role model by our side every step of the way is helping. Let's go to your account. Yeah? Yes? Mm -hmm. Take £10 out of it and put no. the rest into your bank account so you can save it. <laughs>